Hey everyone, I'm Madison and we are here at Sparkman Wharf with our whole Unation team. In case you don't know, Sparkman Wharf is an outdoor hotspot here in Tampa Bay that features tons of dining, local shops, and lots of fun for the whole family. The reason we're here today is to try all of their shipping container restaurants. They have over 10 unique restaurants that are located inside repurposed shipping containers. They have everything from pizza to ice cream to fried chicken and we're gonna try it all. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so Bay and I went to Gallito to grab some lunch. I got the puffy taco. I got the quesadilla taco and we also got the nachos to split. I personally have never had the quesadilla tacos. I usually just go for like the chicken tinga taco, but Stephanie convinced me today. I've had them elsewhere, so I'm really excited to try them. They are so dang good. And so are the puffy tacos. Look at how giant they are. I feel like it's a big bang for your buck. Then we also got Corona Lights because you can't get Mexican without getting a Mexican right. beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyways, shall we sample? So this puffy taco, I believe is a flour, I know it's a flour tortilla that's deep fried. And it has um, oh, ground beef and cheese and lettuce and sour cream. And it's just a lot and I love it. The crunch sounded amazing. So the crunch like kind of dissolves in your mouth. I feel like that's kind of weird to say because it's like crunchy, but it's puffy. So you know, you know what I mean? Like it just like dissolves. It's so freaking good. So I'm going in for the quesadilla. Um, my hot sauce unfortunately spilled everywhere. Um, did you see that cheese pull? Also fun fact, these are gluten free. So good. What I love about these is that they're a little bit crunchy, which I haven't had with other quesadilla tacos. I would suggest putting some hot sauce on it, but I like being spicy and obviously a plus that it's gluten free. Lastly, we have the nachos, which I've had before. They're amazing. We got uh, shredded chicken on it and then it has sour cream and salsa verde. Ooh. And I think it has, yeah, it has queso on it too. Mm. Ooh. I have to say, Stephanie did just want to get the chips and queso. Are you glad we got the nachos? There's like a little kick. It's not like very spicy. It's like, but yeah, tiny. yeah. Wow, it's think, very yeah. flavorful. Mm -hmm. I definitely recommend getting this with whatever taco you get if you go to Gallitos. Yeah. My favorite place in Sparkman is Edison's Swigamajig. It's absolutely delicious. They have the freshest fish and chips, which is what I ordered. And total pro tip, you have to ask for their tartar sauce. It's very different than any other one I've ever tried. It has like curry or something really good in it. So I highly recommend and let's dig in. Mm, super good. Hey guys, so I got Flock in stock, which is honestly one of my favorite containers in all of Sparkman. I'm definitely a really basic, just chicken tender girl and fries, which is like literally one of my favorite meals. I'm like a little kid, but it's the best. Um, they have tons of sauces, tons of options. If you aren't basic, they have really cool like Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. They have buffalo style, so you can like really get it however you like it. I'm just really plain. So excited to dig into one of my tried and true chicken tendies. Mm. So good, so good. So I got the pork dumplings from Dang Dude. Really excited to try them. Got a little bit of everything, so let's see. Ooh, those are like tangy, but they definitely have like a tiny bit of kick, but don't worry, they're not like too spicy. So I feel like if you're like in between, these would be like perfect for you. Definitely can taste like the red chili flakes in here. Those give it like a good little pizzazz zing. I don't know if that's word zing, but these were really, really good. So I'm excited to try like the rest of their Asian inspired menu. I know they have a lot of different things for like noodle bowls, to even like boba tea. So definitely go try them out. I got Murph's barbecue. They have tons of different options. It's my first time, but I decided to go with the build your own platter. So it comes with the chopped chicken, the mac and cheese, and I got the Brussels. So I'm excited to try it. That's really good. You instantly taste the flavor. I love that. Let me try the mac and cheese. Mm, so good. It has like little like breaded crumbs on top. Definitely recommend the mac and cheese. Really good, really flavorful. The Brussels sprouts look pretty healthy, but tons of flavor packed into it. So such a good choice. Definitely recommend the build your own platter. Okay, so I came to the Naked Farmer, which is a farm to table style restaurant here at Sparkman Moor. Um, and I got the brown rice bowl with chicken, 
roasted sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. My pro tip is to always get the dressings that they have on the side. It makes the meal 100 times better. Um, and now we're gonna try it. So good. So we got pizza from Lighthouse Beer Garden because we've never eaten here before. So if you don't know, they serve beer, but they also serve pizzas and calzones. And we got the killer bee pizza and it looks so good. It looks amazing. There's mushrooms, tart pepperonis, and hot honey on it. Gotta try it. It's delicious. It's cheesy. <laughs> it is. I love the pepperonis. The honey is really good. Yeah. Good touch. Ooh, I love hot honey on pizza. I usually don't get mushrooms, but I like it. Neither do yeah. I. And it's like just enough mushrooms. It's not like overdoing it. So today I decided to try something new. I came on over to the Guava Grill. It's new here at Sparkman and it has like Latin inspired flavors. So everything is really flavorful. They have some fun bowls. Today I just got something simple just to try it out. So I got the buffalo cauliflower. Looks really good. Maybe a little spicy, but we'll see. Definitely spicy, I was right. Wow, it's really good though. Definitely different from most buffalo cauliflower I've tried. But I kind of like it. I'm here at Fit Bowl and they have smoothies and bowls and I got the Island Life Bowl to cool down on this hot day. And let's give it a try. Mm. It's so good and refreshing and it's my favorite thing to get here at Sparkman. So I chose Jenny's to try today. It is an ice cream shop with two locations in Tampa. It is the best on a hot day. Um, so I got the trio, which comes with three different flavors. The um, buttercream birthday cake, brownberry crisp, and the darkest chocolate. I'm so excited to try them because I've had some of their flavors, but not all of them. Literally it tastes like it's my birthday, and it's not, so that's even better. Okay, dark chocolate ice cream should be more of a thing because it's so good. Um, and then this one is Brambleberry Crisp, which is like one of their most iconic flavors. I taste it's like a pie that you would get from your grandmother's house. Highly recommend Jenny's ice cream. Check it out. Barkman Wharf is one of the best places to visit in Tampa. There's so much to do, beautiful views, lots of seating. And no matter what you're in the mood for, there's tons of different options for everybody. It's a great place to bring people from out of town. And don't forget your dog because Barkman Wharf is extremely dog friendly. So I hope if this video made you hungry enough that you're gonna come on down. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.